Hi there, it's Nicole for Line Fine, and today I have the May 2016 Inspiration Week in review. I'm going to share this shaker card created with the new Mermaid for You stamps and dies. Absolutely love this stamp set. Then I've got this grandfather card showcasing the dad plus me dies plus the new stitched mountain border. I've got these cute critters flying high in the sky with kites. This is the yay kites and big scripty words. And then I've got flamingos with the flamingo together stamp set and coordinating dies. And finally, I'm going to use the Make Me Smile dies with several of the new um, die collections that work with these face dies. So first, I'm going to share my Mermaid For You stamp set, and this is an awesome stamp set. Great, cute little mermaids. So fun, popular. Um, these would work great with the new slider dies that Lawn Fawn came out with. I don't actually have a card with those yet, but I will soon. I'm also using the new cross-stitched dies that have the great cross-stitch design around them. I'm using the rectangles to make my frames there for my shaker card, but it has the cross-stitch design instead of the stitch design. And I made a shaker card with some clear seed beads inside to look like bubbles. Um, I stamped my greeting on the transparency instead of inside the card so it's always visible and it looks like a really fun underwater scene. Next, I am going to share my grandfather card. This would be great for Father's Day to send to any grandfathers out there. This uses the Dad Plus Me stamps and dies. You probably think it looks kind of familiar because there was the Mom Plus Me stamps and dies. This is the Dad version plus these great stitched mountain dies. I created a outdoor mountain scene with these little bears by the lake using a lot of distress inks to color in all of my die cut pieces, plus using them to color in my stamped images. The Flamingo Together is an adorable little three by four stamp set, coordinating dies, of course, and creates the most adorable scene. Now I implemented um, the round cross stitched dies here. There's also squares, you can see, I did not use those for this card, but I just kind of wanted to show those. I've used some of the rectangles as well. There's the circle for the sunshine. But I built this all with Lawn Fawn dies and stamps and colored everything with distress inks, except for the flamingos. Those were colored with Copic markers. This is the Yay Kites stamp set. Great kite building stamp set with cute critters, dies for everything you can see here. The big scripty words coordinates with this stamp set or anything really dies for everything again. I used one of the greetings from Big Scripty Words with the images from Yay Kites, plus used that cross-stitched rectangle for my background. Did a little embossed resist for the greeting with some distress inks over it. Super fun and easy card. This is the Make Me Smile dies. Great little faces there. You can use those in just about any kind of die you have. There are, of course, new dies that work perfectly with them. This is the Shooting Star dies, the Puffy Cloud dies, and the Puffy Cloud frames, and then the Sun and Moon. I use the Shooting Star and Puffy Clouds for my shaker card here. All of the elements are on the front of the card, and then all the shaker material is inside. My greeting is again stamped on the front transparency, so it's always visible and easy to read. And you can shake that up, and it just has a really fun, sparkly, great card. Lots of great ways to use these dies together. So here is a look at the five cards, or six, I had to create two of that last one, um, that I created for the May 2016 Lawn Fawn Inspiration Week. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the new stamps and dies from the May release of Lawn Fawn. Here is a look at the six or five cards rather that I created using the stamps and dies from this release. Please subscribe for weekly card making and stamping videos. 
Here are a couple more videos showcasing the Lawn Fawn stamps and dies. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.